Oh man, here we are. We yes, are sir. sitting, chilling. Yeah, buddy. Woo, we are getting ready for our first official Dark Delicacy signing of 2021. Yeah, in person. In person. People oh there. man. People are there. You got this big old thing with you that you're uh, you working on. I am working on it. I'm trying to hold it. You got to watch Alfonso uh, 13's video because, man, I'll tell you what, it's pretty damn cool. Well, we're right over, uh, just around the corner from Dark Delicacies right now, and Savage, oh, here comes you Savage Scott. Oh. Hey, we're ready? You know the pandemic's over, right? Yeah. Aren't you vaccinated? Yeah, I had two shots. Yeah, Tequila oh, and see. vodka. Oh, hey oh. now. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Chris. Come on. Let's go. We got a movie signing That's to right. do. Come on. So here we are making the trek to the Dark Delicacies location on Hollywood Way. It's already a crowd of people out here, it looks like, possibly. Ready to party. Party time? <laughs> oh, man. I thought, I thought the parties weren't until 10 minutes to midnight. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> oh, just before dawn. All right. <laughs> Man, it might be a house of pain for some people. We'll see. <laughs> All right, masks are unfortunately required, but look at this. This is our big signing event. Ooh, thank you, sir. There you go. And this is what the signing event entails. 10 minutes to midnight with Caroline Williams. House of Pain with Frank Stevens and a few others from there. And Jeff Lieberman signing his autobiography, Day of the Living Me. Possibly having other things too. And oh man, it's getting started. It's getting started. So Here we are at checkout. Oh, oh, Mark of Disco well, Bloodbath. He, he, he sent the boxes. They, he sent them on Monday. There we go, twice. right over there. People are already signing. Oh, it's getting so cool, man. We are here to pick up our pre-ordered items. As of yesterday, the hey Alfonso, what, what's in the box here? Right? What's in the box? So, uh, he's actually, you know, what was this guy? He's always got his binder, right? Yeah. My game up a little Oh my god. Get a little oh my god. Look at that. myself right there. So, you know, you're always got to set the game up. So. Oh man. Different for different situations. <laughs> here we go. And then these are the items right here. They have. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. DVDs, Blu-rays, of everything for today. Oh, right there. Yeah, there's the list, indeed. Ah, and then here's some upcoming signing events for books here. That's pretty damn cool. And we're about to get in line because we got some stuff to get signed. Oh man, let's do this. So now we are officially in line, waiting to get our stuff signed here. There's cult director Jeff Lieberman, director Dustin Ferguson, Frank Stevens Woods somewhere. <laughs> and there's Caroline Williams in the Sea of Humanity. <laughs> oh man, and got our items right here ready and prepared, but now it's just all about executing. That sounds like sports. Execute, execute. It's been a while, a rusty, right? Oh, I feel rusty. I'm like, <laughs> oh man, it's been over a year since the official signing. Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, wait, wait, do I get the insert sign or the K sign? Oh, wait, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it feels like that a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Decent little turnout so far, so we'll see what happens. All right, we are getting to the front of the line right now as you have Caroline Williams and Frank Stevens at the very beginning of everything. That's so cool. Get Dog will hunt. Dog, Dog will hunt. hunt. <laughs> <laughs> There's the dog right there. That's awesome. <laughs> Someone wants to sign stuff for people. <laughs> Oh man, so Scott has got House of Pain being signed right now. Caroline. Oh, I got Brink. Uh oh, it's this Ferguson's boss, David Sterling. He cut us off. Oh, there's there's going to be some camp blood going on here, isn't there? There's going to be House of Pain here in a second. Look at that one, brother. Uh, it, where's X Grinder? Oh man. Wow. Are you Scott, serious? The savage one. You know, you know, let him get away with that. Oh my God! Let him get away with that. Savage got one. Hey, wait, 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 wait! There is a radio DJ over here that is a vampire, after all. Isn't there? <laughs> 
Okay. That was already a line too. You're gonna see more of this on Alfonso's video. You can see right here, but it's been like what two minutes? Oh, dog will hunt. Dog will hunt. Oh my gosh. Are you saying you got cut in line still? Oh man. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. This is, this is not even out going all the way. Oh, look at that. Watch Fonzo 13. You got to see this to believe it, folks. I'm telling you. Wow. I'm telling you. And in the meantime, you know, while the signing's still going on, yep. Jeff Lieberman's still here. Dustin Ferguson's still here. Frank Stevens. And then Caroline Williams. That's so fucking cool. Oh, and I guess David Sterling. <laughs> I can't forget him. <laughs> So while Scott's getting stuff signed by Jeff Lieberman, look who's in the house. Editor Bob Morowski, who also happens to run Grindhouse Releasing. Support Grindhouse Releasing. Cannibal Holocaust, Cannibal Ferox. Oh my god. He's gotta do it, folks. So cool. Us in Japan at the Godzilla Slide somewhere in Oh, she knows. Look at that. La lengua de mi gente. I see. She said, puede. And on the table. Oh, my God. She said, puede. Oh, my God. Arriba la raza. Oh, man. We're wearing masks. What? We are wearing masks because... Safety protocols in the L.A. area. That's right. Unfortunately, we wanted to start selling blue so But, dude, what an event. Seriously, like, you always like to say, I oh, wonder who's going to stop by because it's a Monday. <laughs> who's going to stop by? Well, who stopped by, Chris? Well, he, made, that give you he made this shirt right here. His company made that shirt. They put out movies like Cannibal Ferox, Cannibal Holocaust, The oh, Swimmer. <laughs> but he's an Academy Award winner. Oh, yeah. Editor of The Hurt Locker. Locker. He's also like editor. Yeah. <laughs> We did the editing on Drag Me to Hell with yeah, Spider-Man movies Spider for Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. Yeah, he's fans. So he and we were hearing all the stories. He had so many cool We didn't try, we didn't get it on video because you know we're, we're talking. We're it's in here. It's on our video, but yeah, we met him. He's awesome. But dude, it was so cool getting the story. Right? Oh, I mean, that was incredible. The, dude, like the Fulci story. You know? that yeah. Was kind of sad, but it cool was. at the same time because we were about to meet him, but he had talked to him on the phone, which is really cool. Just yeah, the that he talked to him for the Beyond. Yeah. He flew to Rome. I was gonna meet him, and he's gonna do the director's. He's gonna do a commentary. He's track. gonna be yeah. he's gonna the first or fourth commentary. Can you believe that? Him and Sage Stallone, and then that led into the story of how Grand House releasing came to be, which was incredible. Yes. And I guess he said Cannibal Ferox and uh, the, the Beyond the first two. First two. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. And uh, he does. So if you're a Grand House releasing fan, you're watching this, you're wondering, oh man. Movie comes out like maybe once every two years. Well, he's a very busy editor on yes. big projects. Yes, so. he's time to be he does a lot of work, does a lot of stuff. So, like, like on the side, yeah, exactly. So, the fact that we do get those, you know, your support and get them because yeah. they're amazing releases. So. They really That's are. Amazing. Oh, Grand House releasing. Oh, wait, Sonic Sky. Oh, what the? He's got some blue sunshine. Blue sunshine. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Right in there. Oh, and that blue sunshine oh, yeah. insert you saw is getting signed. Your name, please. I can remind you of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right folks here we are with the hoardings from the signing event this was the main attraction right here 10 minutes to midnight a vampire film starring caroline williams as a radio dj who gets bitten and infected or gets bitten well by a bat of sorts who knows what <laughs> i haven't seen the movie yet but there you go she becomes a vampire and it's supposed to be a bit of a different vampire film and it's been getting a lot of buzz i'm looking forward to this um I won't lie, the first time <laughs> Dell announced this signing event, I was like, 10 to midnight? Charles Bronson? Oh, no, no, not the Charles Bronson movie. This is a new 10 minutes to midnight. Yeah, but now it's autographed by Caroline Williams. Looking forward to this. Can't wait to see what this little vampire flick has in store. And then, while I was there, of course, I had to get the essential Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 signed by Caroline Williams, who, of course, played Stretch the main heroine in this movie um i'm a big texas chainsaw massacre 2 fan the original started my love for horror the first time i ever saw this movie oh dude this was entertaining as all hell as you can see i have leatherface from here bill johnson signed that at son of monster palooza 2015 and bill mosley i had signed this uh back at my very first horror convention days of the dead la 2013 so man caroline williams 
Another important signature that I had to have on this gruesome edition. Oh, God, yeah. So that was the Caroline Williams portion. The next part of the table was for a movie called House of Pain. This had Brink Stevens, who signed this. Original Scream Queen, of course. And it was signed by the director, Dustin Ferguson, who has made a lot of uh, cult films like uh, Apex Predators and <laughs> Ebola Rex. Look up those trailers and, uh, yeah, you'll see what kind of movies he has to offer. I will say that. But, uh... Basically, this film right here, the premise caught my attention. Um, you have an exploitation premise of a Latino family moving to a new home only to have that home invaded by racists. But those racists have something to do, I guess, with the devil or there's some kind of supernatural connection that makes them the way they are. That sounds intriguing. I will check that out. So we shall see. And <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood, indeed. So, yeah, House of Pain gotta give it a watch and then the third part of this signing event jeff lieberman cult film director signing his autobiography day of the living me adventures of a filmmaker of a cult filmmaker from the golden age easy for me to read <laughs> there you go he signed it right on in there i'm looking forward to stories on uh all of his, like, crazy films that he made back then, from Squirm to Just Before Dawn, all the way up to maybe even Satan's Little Helper. So we'll see. This should be a very entertaining read. And 2020, we had the pandemic. What did I do? Lots and lots of reading. I'll have to do a video one of these days on, like, all the books that I've read that I recommend as far as horror goes. Because, my God, that was a lot. <laughs> but Day of the Living Me, looking forward to reading that. And, of course, you're meeting Jeff Lieberman. You got to get some essentials signed, right? Well, I never owned Just Before Dawn before this signing event. And then when I found out that Jeff Lieberman was announced for this big signing event, I thought, oh, my God, I have to get this early 80s slasher film that is talked about with such a huge cult following. Brad Fidel, the composer of Terminator and Fright Night, happened to compose the music for this early 80s slasher film. So... I got very curious, and I decided to own it, and you know what? I had to bring it. I had to get this thing signed. And then at Jeff Lieberman's table, he also happened to be selling Blu-ray copies of a film he made called Remote Control. And I'll tell you what, this movie sounds awesome, actually, based on the premise. Uh, it's got a young Jennifer Tilly in there, and then it looks like this was at one time some kind of collector's edition, because look at that. It looks like it was supposed to be numbered out of the thousand. Maybe it's something direct off the website. I'm not sure. But got a hold of this one. Um, I'm looking forward to remote control, seeing what this has to offer. I told Jeff Lieberman, oh, man, I got kind of a Terror Vision vibe from watching this. <laughs> Whoops, that was a mistake. Because then he goes, I think Terror Vision got their vibe from this. Oh, God. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry. <laughs> and then a little bit before all that, we went to Amoeba Records. Had to get some new CDs for the car, especially heavy metal. And I decided to get a Best of Dragon Force, Killer Elite. So this spans their best of hits, obviously, over their history here. It's so if I can get it perfectly there. <laughs> I had heard uh, My Spirit Will Go On. I've heard a few of their other tunes. But I've never really sat back and listened to entire albums or many songs i should say from dragon force and then when i saw they had this best of two disc set there at amoeba i had to get it so some new heavy metal there for the car rides and everything and then i also got some more heavy metal creator phantom antichrist i found a uh, pleasure to kill at amoeba a few years back really dug it and so now i'm like oh let me see what the creator albums they had and i saw this i'll tell you what i was listening to this my favorite song so far from this album have to be death to the world Oh, my God. That that song just kicks your ass. Oh, good album. So some heavy metal right there from the UK, from Germany. And then, obviously, in Amoeba, I had to get the CD of John Carpenter's Lost Themes 3. Got volumes 1 and 2 signed. Hopefully, a John Carpenter signing event happens at Golden Apple because, well, Lost Themes 3, you guessed it. That needs to be signed. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, we got some swag chains here, courtesy of the San Diego Padres. Bought the, me and Amy bought one each at the team store when we went to go see the San Diego Padres against the LA Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw pitched that night. We got a big 3-2 to two win. And yeah, that was the first night we happened to wear 
the swag change. So for those that don't know, anytime a Padres player hits a home run or a relief pitcher does something really clutch or anybody does something really clutch, they put these on, the swag change, and you see them spin. You saw Pete Alonzo win in the home run derby, and I noticed MLB kind of copied the swag chain a little bit, eh? Getting on the bandwagon. Phillies have their little sun hats. Uh, I know the Washington Natural Nationals, Naturals, whoops, Washington Nationals put like a little, uh, looks like a shoelace with a keychain or something on it. I don't even know what the hell it is, but the originators, the San Diego Padres of the swag chain. And now we have them. 2021 has been great. Hope it continues to be great. And, uh, you know, some more gold, so to speak, comes home to San Diego. But until then, hopefully we get to see more signing events at Dark Delicacies. Hopefully we get to see more horror conventions popping up. John Carpenter signing would be very nice, of course. We'd love to get that signed, as well as many other items. We'd love to go to more ball games too. So until then, I'm going to leave you with some clips from Fist Combat's Gladiator Night 2. And, uh... See you next time for the big adventure. Oh, yeah. Go Padres. Oh,